Today was one of those days where I felt like life is just passing me by and I'm not doing anything with it. Like, is this really what our purpose of existence is? To just like do the same thing over and over again? Get up, go to work, go to the gym, come home and go to bed. We spend majority of our lives just doing this rat race and it quite honestly eats me alive. There's frustration with the nine to five where it's just not enough, where work is not fulfilling the promise that it did for the boomers and beyond. A starter salary is not what it used to be and the way that we work and live has had to evolve around that. This generation has to go about things differently. Gen Z seems to be searching for broader freedoms and a world dominated by corporations and advertisement and also if you have a feeling just medicate it and also there's student loans and a housing crisis and we have this hyper individualism and also the earth is burning and so some would say well just give up but all you can do is try and save it right now in america there are more second jobs per household than there has ever been since they have been keeping track we are living in a world where it's impossible to survive the cost of living is exorbitant groceries exorbitant everyday necessities exorbitant and people are making shit wages. And now I have to go back and think, am I gonna have to get a second job just to cover my student loans? This is not sustainable. The world that we live in is not sustainable. And we are absolutely living in a silent depression. And we need to talk about this a little bit more. The majority of the population is depressed and is burnt out. And then you're beating your own self up because it's a nice day outside and you can't even get out of bed. I'm not unmotivated, I'm exhausted. We are not meant to just pay bills and die and work our asses off until we're old and we don't have the energy to enjoy our life. We don't have money to retire. We barely have money for groceries. We don't have the energy to do anything because we're constantly being traumatized by everything that has happened in the past like four or five years. None of us are okay. I feel like we're all in a darker place mentally than we've ever been. Things are not getting better. It feels like the end of times and yet we're forced to go to our nine to five, shrug our shoulders and pretend like it's all fine. It's not fine. So at the end of the day, we have two choices. Stay quiet, sit down, and let this new version of slavery kick in where it's not even chains and whips, it's taxes and fees. Or we can get some shit done. The world is full of people who want to make a difference. People who see wrong in the world, they know how to fix it, they know exactly what we should do. And we have no power. Capitalism is destroying the planet. The rich keep getting richer. The poor keep getting poor. We're getting priced on literal roofs over our heads. Rent is so high. Eggs are 20 fucking dollars a dozen. Wages have been stagnant since the 1990s. Everybody hates each other for no stupid reason. We just keep gaslighting ourselves into believing that if we go to just enough therapy or read just enough self-help books or do just enough mindfulness exercises, that somehow we will find peace in this absolute clown show that he I have a full-time job that years ago... I could have raised a family on what I make. And it's like now I have to do side hustles, you know, to supplement my income because it's gotten so fucking expensive to live. It's crazy you have to work like 75% of your life, like donate, give up 75% of your time pretty much just to literally survive, just to live. Not to live comfortably, not to live well, just to live. And you're having people struggling over money, struggling over food, struggling over finding a place to live what do you think you're going to expect from from america you're going to get more violence you're going to get more people attacking other people you're going to get more of the looting and different stories and then it's like i woke up all of a sudden and my insurance has doubled food has fucking tripled gas is so expensive electric bill over double my fucking rent went up i can't be the only one that's drowning everybody is going through this bullshit. everyone can't go to canada can't go to the UK. Everyone is is dealing with just not being able to sustain life. I've never had so little money in my entire life. All of my money goes towards my bills and food for me to eat. And half the time, I have to choose between filling my car with gas or eating. Wish that I could just have a job and do my job and go to work every day and it would just pay for life. It would pay for a roof over my head, it would pay for food on my table, it would pay for medical bills, it would pay enough for me to like save money so I could retire one day, you know, like basic things. I am 36 years old and I have nothing to show for 20 plus 
years of work. 70,000 a year, not enough? Is a bachelor's degree not enough? Is two jobs not enough? And the only thing we hear is, we'll stop Starbucks and stop your brunches and your three-day vacations. If you get up and take care of your house and take care of your friends and your family and your body and work 50 hours a week plus commuting, don't you think that person deserves a night out or a Sunday? At what point is it literally just too expensive to live? Like when do we, because we keep on talking about it, we keep on talking about inflation, we keep on talking about salaries not meeting it, and we keep on talking about the minimum wage, and we keep on talking about all this stuff, but like at what point does that bubble burst? It literally is just too expensive to be alive even if you're working a full-time job.